managed to get my fine down to nine pounds, which is still a lot. Because they're like, it's your responsibility to check your spam folder. I was like, cool, great. Eighteen pounds is a lot of money. <laughs> so that's fine. Honestly, I've paid it, so like, I don't have to worry about that ever. In the future, I was like, I just obviously would have sent the thing back had I known that it was required. Anyway, I went to general lecture, I have some little stuff, and I basically have three hours until I need to go back in to watch a documentary about Margaret Atwood. And I also have to write an essay on The Uncanny, which I didn't know about, for just the seminar, so that's pointless. Can't we just read it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've got to do tonight for tomorrow, which I didn't know about. I don't know how I was meant to know about it either, but whatever. I'm gonna make some lunch now, because I'm hungry. <laughs> We're going to find a frame for Rebecca's poster. I'm gonna get a coffee and it's freezing. I didn't bring the envelope. One <laughs> We went for a little stroll to look for a frame for Becca's poster at British Heart Foundation, like furniture store. Didn't find one. And then posted my letter to register to vote. Got a coffee. And I'm about to do my gender and monstrosity. I basically have to read the sequel short story to The Robber Bride, uh, which I finished last night at like 3 a.m. and really liked. And then I didn't go to that Outward documentary because I was like, I just care about the text, to be honest. Uh, then there's a Freud essay on the uncanny, which I don't have to write, I just have to take notes. And then read some fairy tales that are referenced in the Robert Bride. And then I'll probably have some dinner and read this bad boy, which is called The Death of Grass, which is about, um, I think, life after grass has been wiped out. So this is for Apocalypse, and it actually features an apocalyptic text Woo, finally! And I'm saying it on here so that I will actually do it because I really, really, really want to be present in tomorrow's seminar because I've loved The Robber Bride so much. It's so good. Um, so yeah, but I basically legged it out of the house this morning because I was late and I forgot my glasses, which is why I looked so dodgy when I came home and I just looked horrible without them. So, woo, let's get some work done. high key loving my outfit today and I don't really have much makeup on but like with the glasses I think I look cute still um, but it's just this top I got from New Life for like 2 99 little pocket and then these cool trousers that Becca gave me which are like cord yeah um, I've had a medieval lecture and then I'm gonna make some lunch do some creative editing and then go to netball had a netball match and um, we lost 25-4 to dentistry which is fucking hilarious. It was like fine for the first half, like it was difficult but we were kept, like keeping up. I think I got the four in that half, first half and then they just took away the second half. Everyone lost energy, it was fucking hilarious. I got the ball like once in the second half um, but yeah, I'm now dead. I need to finish my creative proposal.
evening. I look like shit. Um, I've done literally nothing but journal today and like watch The Office and just like chill. I just kind of needed it. Um, I'm gonna make some dinner now. I've been painting, so that's why this is so gross. And I look really gross because I haven't got dressed today. I'm gonna have some um, nuggets and basically make like what I have for lunch, but instead of it being with falafel, I'm just gonna put nuggets in it instead. And yeah, I'm excited because I'm really fucking hungry because I haven't eaten anything except a bowl of cereal today. And that was ages ago. Coachella! Good afternoon. But really, it feels like the morning. Um, so, Becca's family are here, her mum and her brother. Um, they've gone out for the day, Justine's at work and I'm home alone right now. Um, ben stayed over last night after he went to Bingo Lingo. And um, so this morning we went, we got up really late and just like slept in and it was so nice. And then we went to Greg's for breakfast, which was beautiful. Um, and I've just been taking pictures for my Art Away the World Instagram um, because I did some more journal pages and I've got some books that I'm going to be reading this week. It's been a nice chilled out morning. I'm feeling quite festive actually in this jumper. Um, and we're going to go to Winter Wonderland this afternoon, which I'm very excited about. Which is already in the afternoon, but later on. Um, because I just haven't really felt that Christmassy, so I kind of want to go walk around town, which I've not really been to town recently, so that'd be nice. Um, but right now I'm going to have some more food and heat up my tea, which I've let go cold, and I'm also going to um, read because I'm, I've am i like planned out everything I need to read, like how many pages it's gonna take me per day to get to them when I need them. So I'm gonna stick to it and hopefully get it all done in time for when I need them this week, which is which is good. I feel good. See you. See, you see, this is like my what I've done recently in my journal. So that is a nice little starry page with an Atticus. Well, it's not an Atticus poem, but it's from the Atticus poetry book that I've got. Um, these are my reading lists, and then I've got this cool little painting that I did that I found like an, an, a similar version on Instagram. So I just thought I really liked it, and I then added the color scheme like over this side, which I really like. Um, this is just some cuts outs from that um, Conscious Creativity book, which is just, I love the shadows and reflections. Um, and then this is a very, unlike me, a very pink page, um, which is used with, that's from Conscious Creative, and um, this is from the Quench um, student mag, and then some stickers and some cut outs from some paper that I have. Um, and that's really all I've done recently, um, but yeah, it's very exciting, uh, look how fat this guy is now, like that's, it looks like it's halfway done, but I don't think it is, I think there's way more pages in there than in here, but I'm excited for it to be like a really thick daddy. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's fun, and I just need to like put some pictures in it that I couldn't print out when I went home because I couldn't get the printer to realise that I had pictures on my phone. So yeah, um, yeah. I am all ready to go to Winter Wonderland. I just put some gold eyeshadow on, which looks cute. Um, and Becca's mum brought her bookcase at here. So now her bookcase is now in my room. So let me show you, but I do have a bit of an issue with it. I showed you only this. But the funny thing is, so I've got my uni books in here. So I've got Apocalypse, uh, Medieval and Gender. But then I've got my Oxford University Presses and my Penguin Classic. And I've had to put, leave these ones in here because I actually can't fit them all in my bedroom, which is crazy. Christmas. <laughs> we 
we went to Winter Wonderland, which was really lovely, but I had a cheese toasty and a chai latte from Tim Hortons, which is lovely. But now I feel a bit sick because it's a lot of dairy. I don't really eat that much dairy. So, ugh. but it was really lovely and really fun walking around. We didn't really like go with the purpose. We kind of just wandered, which was really actually so adorable. And yeah, we just had a good time. So I think we're gonna go back to Ben's tonight because um, I don't need to necessarily be here tomorrow. So yeah, um, I'm absolutely knackered. It was a really lovely day. Uh, I feel like tomorrow's gonna be a really chilled out day. Um, but yeah, I feel a bit Christmassier now that we've done that.